Lisa. Yes, baby girl. When I grow up, I want to be a woman to society. And so shall you be. Hey, this is Lisa Landry. Welcome back to A Menace to Society. I'm stoked to speak with today's guest. He has his own PR company in New York City. Please welcome to the podcast, John Tantillo. Hey, JT. Hey, how are you, Lisa? I'm doing always well. Wonderful. It's always a good day when I'm talking to Lisa Landry. You're so lovely. Always, you always put a smile on my face. <laughs> well, I'm really happy to hear that, JT, because you do the same for me. What is a day like for you to be a publicist in New York City? Well, I wouldn't define myself or brand myself as a publicist as much as I would say I'm more like a uh, executive coach. And what does that mean? I help people to go brand themselves. And what that means is what benefits can we as individuals, as professionals, give to other people? What is the benefit that I bring when I am interacting with someone, if I am working with someone? What is my unique characteristics that is going to help get the job done? How many different ways are there to do that? Well, first of all, there's the old saying, to thy own brand be true. So what you have to really do is ask yourself, what makes me unique and what do I bring to the party? And once you've done that, you're uh, halfway there because the other component is to just do it. So once you figure out what it is, then it's actually doing it. And, and here's an example. Let's say somebody needs someone who's going to bring a positive point of view to the situation, all right? And that's what you do. What you do is when there is negativity in the room, you make the situation better. So that could be your unique brand or that's your unique characteristic. It might be that like yourself, you're a somebody that brings a joke to the situation, a lighter point of view to the situation that lightens the situation up. It could be somebody who ha who's analytical, who brings analysis to the situation so that uh, you can get the job done. In other words, you have to figure out, and that's what that would be like an assignment for anyone who's listening to this podcast, what they should do is what makes me unique? What is my brand? And then once you've found that out, go brand yourself. <laughs> is that why you named it Go Brand Yourself? Yeah, that's right. How do you like that one? <laughs> and on Instagram, if you uh, look up Dr. John Tantillo, every day I have a Go brand yourself thought that gets everybody yelling, screaming, and uh, carrying on. <laughs> so it's all about promoting your special talent, yeah? Yes, that, that's basically what it is. But the thing is, you can't be something that you're not. So if you're not a backslapper, and you're not a joke teller, or you're not a outgoing person, you can't be that way. <laughs> you might simply be the strong, silent type. And that's what you should, in fact, be. To thy own brand, be true. How long have you been doing this, JT? Oh, I've been doing this now for about 20 years. So I'm an old pro at this. 
Lisa. <laughs> That's what I do. There you go. What's the biggest change in the past five years that you've noticed? Social media. Everybody's got to become a social media professional. That's what it, it's all about. And you don't have to start big. You start small, but just do it, as Nike would say. <laughs> They know what they're talking about. Just do it. Don't be afraid. All right? You'll make mistakes. I would say that what you want to do is you want to think before you tweet or you engage. But nevertheless, do it. It will make your life significantly different. Take it from one who knows. You know, you mentioned that you're going to mess up. I used to be extremely cautionary on social media. I still am because I'm afraid of... No, you should. No, you're absolutely right. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should think. Absolutely. I don't mean to cut you off, but go ahead. No, I appreciate you cutting me off. Sometimes I should be cut off. Thank you. You just no, established you my point. I never be cut off. <laughs> I never get, get enough of you. <laughs> but it is like I you never... Now, here's something. This was my go brand yourself thought for the day. What's that? Sometimes the fear won't go away, so you have to do it afraid. That's my go brand yourself thought for the day. And if you want to get those kinds of thoughts each day, go to Instagram and there you go. Or follow me on Twitter, at Marketing Doctor. You can see me uh, there as well. That's a really deep and great bit of advice. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. You got to walk yep. into it, right? Like a firefighter going into the flames. You got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. Because cowardice is unnecessary. That's just weak. Right. All right. Well, I'm going to go tweet a bunch of stuff now, JT. <laughs> oh, well, here you go. Tweet, tweet, tweet like the birdies do, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the best advice you would give somebody that you haven't already given? Because you've given great advice. But what is the nugget that you want everybody to hear right now? Be yourself. It's taken me a number of years for that to happen, but that's the best advice I can, uh, I can give. Be yourself, and once you're yourself, then you can assess what your benefit can be to others. And once you do that, you've got it made. So it's not ego-driven so much as it is heart-driven. No. No, it's not ego-driven because nobody wants to be around ego-driven people. People want others to listen to them. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, not, you shouldn't be the one that's always giving the advice, listen. Listening is so very, very important. So is Brandon yourself. Yes. Go brand yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, please do find JT online. Where do we find you on Instagram? Dr. John Tantillo. And if you like to look me up on my web page, it's Dr. Dr. John, J-O-H-N, T-A-N-T-I-L-L-O dot com. Thanks, y'all, for listening. Please come back to Next One Menace Wednesday. You can find me on my website, lisalandry.com. Shout out, Ari. I love you, little boo-boo.